Real men have prostate orgasms. If you're not having prostate orgasms, I don't think you can call yourself a real man. We'll get into it in this video. What's up guys, I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can manifest your ideal life. If you wanna learn more about sexual mastery, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when I release new videos and go live. Make sure you get my free ejaculation control course through the link in the video description below. Most men don't realize that they can have prostate orgasms and these prostate orgasms are ridiculously intense and pleasurable. How intense and pleasurable you ask? Take the most intense ejaculatory orgasm you've ever had, multiply that by 50 and you're getting close. And you might be asking, well, why aren't all men experiencing these prostate orgasms? Well, let me tell you, there's a lot of shame. There's a lot of judgment, body shame around this area of robotic through religious, cultural. So it's just like this whole societal, I mean, there's, there's so much shame and judgment around this area of the body. But you know what the interesting thing is? The prostate is literally the root of your penis. The prostate is the internal part of your penis. One third of your penis is inside your body. The base of it is your prostate. So we could say that the root of your sexuality as a man, the root is your prostate. It's the yin within the yang, so to speak. In Taoist cosmology, if you're familiar with the I Ching and the trigrams, the trigram for fire, whereas you know men to me represent fire, women represent water, the trigram for fire is two yang lines on the outside and then a yin line in the middle. The yin inside of the yang, that's the fire element. Because without the yin, we can't have yang. So therefore, as a man, without embracing this internal aspect of your sexuality, the prostate, you cannot truly be embodied as a man. That's my feeling, you know, because this is truly part of your male physiology. So if you don't embrace it, if you shame it, feel guilty about it, feel weird about it, you're never going to be completely embodied in yourself. And therefore, can you really call yourself a man? So again, I know there's all this cultural baggage around this area of your body, but I challenge you to let all of this go because you can experience profound pleasure, profound, unbelievably profound healing and pleasure by stimulating your prostate. Yes, it involves sticking something up your butt. And a lot of men say, well, won't that make me gay? And first of all, you know, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but I know that there's a lot of homophobia. So no, stimulating your butthole, your prostate will not make you gay any more than picking your nose will. You know what I mean? If you stick your finger up your nose, it doesn't mean you want to dick up your nose. I mean, that's basically the logic of it, right? So there will always be homophobes out there, but that doesn't mean that you have to be. You can decide right now, you know what? I'm comfortable with my sexuality. I know what my sexual orientation is and a certain type of stimulation of my body does not dictate that. And again, it doesn't fucking matter anyway. Who gives a shit, right? In this day and age, we're still like shaming people for the things that they prefer. It's, it's absurd. It's ridiculous. But I know there's still all this baggage around it. Even men who are fully gay often have intimacy challenges because there's still this kind of shame, this underlying societal baggage on that. So I'm really just encouraging you to clear all that, to decide who you truly want to be and not give a shit what anyone thinks. And it doesn't mean you have to go around saying, hey, everybody, I stick things up my butt. Nice to meet you. Basically, the whole thing of sexual kung fu is overcoming all this you know, fucking societal shame and guilt and learning to love our bodies. Because if you don't love your body, if you feel shame or guilt about your your body. This is a self-judgment and it only weighs you down. It only holds you back from your potential, especially the prostate. Why do 50% of men have prostate issues? Because men do not give attention to their prostate. And there's a variety of other reasons as well, but love this aspect of your body, work with it, bring more awareness into it, and it will profoundly impact your vitality, your enjoyment, your pleasure, and helps you to experience a much more profound, deeper experience of orgasm and pleasure. So I'm going to dive a little bit into the experience of prostate orgasm. I've made other videos on this, but just to touch on it basically this isn't about like you know your partner getting a strap on and like doing you in the butt you can certainly do that that's fine have a whatever but the method here is you use a prostate massager device i prefer the aneros as it's perfectly designed for this you stick it up your butt quite gently of course and you literally lay on the ground and relax and breathe and after a period of relaxation you use certain pelvic floor engagements to start bringing awareness and literally massaging your prostate internally just with pelvic engagements this is a hands-free process baby you bring feeling and awareness it starts to activate your prostate starts to turn it into an erogenous zone on your body and eventually you start to build up into an entirely different experience of orgasm and it's so fucking intense so powerful but i will say that it's not 
easy. It's not like the first time you do it, you experience it. It really is a process of rewiring your mind and body to experience different types of sexual pleasure, a different buildup to arousal that does not involve penis stimulation. And that is a process in and of itself. But let me tell you the benefits of this. One of the main benefits is the release of all this deep tension in the pelvic floor, which is often linked to feelings of shame, self-judgment, guilt about our bodies because we had shame around our bodies, you know, our early experiences of sexuality, exploring our own bodies. You know, maybe your mom walked in on you jerking off or something. And it creates these patterns of feeling like, oh, there's something wrong with me. There's something dirty about this sexuality. I'm a bad person because of this, which is all bullshit. It's complete bullshit. You shouldn't feel shame or guilt about masturbation or sticking things up your butt any more than you feel shame or guilty about eating, you know? And I know some people feel guilty and shameful about eating too, so that's a whole nother thing. But basically, you know, your sexuality is a very natural experience and the more you can accept it and dive into it in a holistic, harmonious, self-loving way, the more fulfilling your life will be. And so the release of all this pelvic floor tension, which is a huge, most, almost all men have this, it seems, you know, from my understanding now, you know, this pelvic floor tension causes premature ejaculation, it causes causes erection issues, low libido, poor blood flow to the genitals, low hormones. And what I found to be the number one most effective way of correcting this is through prostate massage, the practice I'm talking about, whether that's, you know, kind of trigger point release with a tool like a TheraWand or the passive prostate massage using an, a Neros device. Both of them are phenomenal methods to release very, very deep ingrained tension, which will improve your sexual vitality, improve your erections, and very much improve your sexual performance, your ejaculation control, your feelings of sexual pleasure, and your ability actually to have non-ejaculatory orgasm. All of this is tremendously benefited by the working with your prostate. And I wanna share what a prostate orgasm feels like for me. The first time I experienced it, it was October, 2020. I was there laying on my bed all alone in the dark. <laughs> and it took me a few years to experience the prostate orgasm after working with the practices, which I've you know, quickly glossed over. I talk about it more in other videos. So I was using the pelvic floor engagements, creating arousal in my mind and body, just feeling. All of a sudden my prostate felt like similar to how your penis feels when you're approaching ejaculation. It's like incredibly pleasure. It felt like a pleasure generated. It felt like a very sensitive erogenous zone. And I felt this deep, deep pleasure, intense pleasure. All of a sudden it was like I dropped into an ocean and I felt the most primal lust, the most primal sexual arouse. It was like the horniest I've ever felt in a certain sense, but it was also this deep heart-centered love, this feeling of connection, just absolutely like, it's, it's hard to put into words, but I mean, if you've ever done psychedelic drugs, you're not too far off what this was like, but this was better than any drug I've done. I literally felt like I was going beyond space and time. It was like a ripple in space time. And I literally felt like I was going multidimensional. I know this probably sounds really fucking weird. It would sound weird to me too before I had experienced it, but this is what it was. And there's also this sense that there was like all these beings around me, like these higher dimensional beings, you know, just it's what I felt. And that they were all like, oh shit, like what's this guy doing? Like, how's he in this realm that we're at? Just it was that kind of vibe, right? It was very interesting. And it was incredibly profound, incredibly pleasurable. I mean, this was, you know, an ejaculatory orgasm felt like a joke compared to this. And it was just like, holy shit. Like I just laid down on the ground, breathed deeply, you know, did some pelvic floor engagements and massive multidimensional cosmic orgasm, like holy shit. So this is what's possible as a man. And you know, maybe you're satisfied with like the five second sticky sneeze. You're satisfied with your sex life as it is. You're satisfied like feeling kind of like, well, there's certain things I can't explore, you know, that's great. If you're, if you're happy with everything you've been doing, that's wonderful. But if you want to like, you know, amplify your sexual experience by a hundred times, if you want to amplify your sexual health, your ejaculation control, feel more confident and embodied as a man when you have no fear, no doubt, no shame. You love yourself. You love your body. You fully accept who you are. You know who you are. You don't need someone else's opinion or like insult to like determine who you are. Life feels a lot more fulfilling and not to mention these types of orgasms. I mean, it's very, very profound. It's very powerful and just, it's a huge part of the uh, awakening to a more elevated, deeper, holistic experience of sex and orgasm. And it changes you. It makes you a happier person. You're no longer content to live a life of, you know, doing stupid shit and finding distractions, you know, drinking a Bud Light and watching CNN every evening, but like actually, you know, experiencing real amazing things in your life. You know, maybe it's a path for you, just say it. If you wanna learn how to have this cosmic orgasm experience, check out my brand new course called Cosmic Orgasm, where you're going to learn step-by-step step how to rewire your mind and body, and you'll learn to have a new experience of pleasure, 
orgasm and set the stage so that you can start having these cosmic orgasm experiences, which will completely change your life, completely change your sex life. Cause there's really not a ton of information out about this stuff. You know, if you look at prostate orgasm, the main thing you'll find is like the active stimulation. We're like, okay, stick a finger up the butt and rub it like this. You're not going to have a prostate orgasm that way. It requires this passive mind body connection. So this is the course I wish I had when I was learning this stuff. Check it out. There's a link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below. Are you man enough to have a prostate orgasm? Take care, my friends. Thank you.